Hey YouTube, it's AdamX20 and today I'm going to do a little bit different video because, well, I broke my helicopter here, come check it out. I modified it to make it faster, so I removed the, the tail mounts and then it was flying pretty fast. I thought I was having fun and I was until I broke the tail decoration. But I found a, I found a web page to buy parts for it. So today's video is about... I'm going to show you my, my screen here. Gera's Laws of Motion. I'll put, I'll put the link in the description. Gera's Laws of Motion are absolute crap. This, this video was uploaded yesterday, and this guy is, is throwing at you pseudoscience, and they happen to think it's a, a cloaked version of creationism. Listen, listen to the law here. This is this is Gera's Law of Motion Part 2. I'm playing the video right now. L listen to what the law says. Law of Motion states, energy creates momentum to create force. Now, <laughs> hold on, hold on. This also means that energy and momentum are both constant except force, illustrated with the following examples. This is absolutely bullshit. So here's what he says. Here's what he says. Energy equals momentum times force. This is absolutely false. No. I, I researched it, and the, this, is what the, this is what the equation says. E equals momentum, mass times velocity, times force. Mass times acceleration. And acceleration is velocity over time. So, E equals mv m a or v over t now actually th th this is funny actually the uh, 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 the energy equals equation can be read as energy equals the uh, magnitude of momentum no excuse me Mass times the magnitude, the magnitude of momentum times c. When you do that with light, you know what you get: e equals m c squared. Because you can uh, uh, multiply the ma magnitude is the product of um, uh, velocity. No, what is it? The product of mass and velocity. Shit, I f I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm sure I am. No, it's uh, it's e equals the magnitude of momentum times c, right? And the magnitude uh is the the product of the mass and the speed. Now the product of the mass and the speed of light is its speed times its time, which is one second. So Mass times the speed times the time times c is going to be e equals mc squared. Now, the guys, th this is the this is the law of motion part two. Let's go into um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Gera's second law of motion. Here's Here's the biggest, biggest problem I have. And this was uploaded February 12th, so this is a month old. This is absolutely nonsense. Second law of motion. Second law of motion states the acceleration of a body is parallel and directly proportional to the amount of energy applied, meaning that energy, whatever, whatever it means. My mathematical formula for the second law of motion is as follows. Energy equals mass times acceleration. Sorry, buddy, that's force. Wait, so here, here's the problem. His, his second law violates his own law. If energy equals mass times acceleration, which would mean M, M A No, no. No, what? No. Okay, that's force. Force equals mass times acceleration. If energy equals mass times acceleration, A being uh, velocity over time, 
how can it then also equal the momentum times force? What, where, where does force come in? Force equals mass times acceleration. That's, that's how it works, buddy. So this guy is spreading this pseudoscience, and this is why I'm afraid it's a um, creationist ideal. This, this was uploaded March 4th of 2012. Um, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta find it. Oh, 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 I think I just missed it. Sorry about that, I ran out of uh, uh, memory space on my bloggy 3D because I had, I have a whole bunch of videos had, and I had to delete them all. Okay, here it is, here it is. It's called The Law of Creation. Law of Creation states nothing created can be greater than its creator. This is, this is great, huh? This was uploaded February 23rd of 2012. Meaning that all things created by design will stay and forever remain constant. Without outside modifications to alter the original design, all things created by design cannot and will not change, evolve, modify, etc. on its own. Here is the absolute truth. This thing is a load of shit. Load of shit. You know what? You want to know why? Cell division. Motherfucking cell division. You think cell division is an external action? No. The cell literally splits and divides into two cells. You know what happens before cell division? DNA needs to be replicated. The cell needs to read its DNA and then it needs to replicate its DNA. It needs to read it and then write it. And this is where mutations can occur. See? This is a this is an entirely internal process. But this this law says that uh, uh, it's it's using some really choice words. All things created by design will stay and forever remain constant without outside modification to alter the original design. All things created by design cannot and will not change, evolve, modify, etc. on its own. It's, it's absolutely false. It is verifiably, observably false. In fact, I read... You know how many cell divisions your body goes through, or your human body goes through in a lifetime? 10,000 trillion. That's a lot of room for a cell to mutate uh, um, during DNA replication. Here, here is uh, the law of evolution. This was uploaded February... 10th of 2012. Law of evolution. I'm, I'm watching it, so I'm pausing. Law of evolution states, nothing created can naturally evolve from within, meaning that all things created can only evolve by an outside modification process to alter the original design from which it was created, thus allowing something to evolve into something else. Without this outside modification process, all things created in their original design will forever remain constant within their natural order. You see where this is going? This is creationism skipping the theory boat. I mean, intelligent design can't even jump into the theory boat anymore. They don't, they don't go to statement. They don't go to hypothesis. They don't go to theorem. They don't go to theory. They're going straight to law. This is this is law, and this is this is where I get the idea that this is creationism and intelligent design is all their choice words, and that somehow there's an outside force causing all these changes. What? No, buddy. No, no. Cell division is an internal process. It divides. It literally splits itself and divides. So you got to be careful. And I saw this guy posting this crap on Dr. Kaku's page because I I'm, uh, I just recently liked Dr. Kaku on Facebook and uh, I thought, what the, what the fucking hell is this shit? And uh, you got to be careful. This guy, I'll post a link to uh, his, his uh, YouTube account because this is absolute bullshit. And uh, this guy's, I don't know, man. I really, I really, really think 
it's a, a creationist intelligent design attempt to put up some intelligent sounding reasonable looking laws and then build downward in or upward and downward into this uh, fundamental dogma it, Nothing created can naturally evolve from within. Nothing created can be greater than its creator. That is, that is creationism. That is absolutely creationism. So anyway, that's what this video is about today. I'm going to have to put it together because it broke. Uh, because um, I ran out of memory. And uh, I didn't mean to. I had a bunch, a bunch of videos. Um because I was recording a lot with Mihaly and picking and choosing which ones were the best. Um, I ordered a new tailpiece for my uh, helicopter, and uh, I probably shouldn't say this on the internet, but uh, my stepmom's going to find out anyways. Um, so I, I, I talked to my dad when he was here, and I was like, so dad, I got one of these remote control helicopters. And he said, get it. And I said, it's about this big. And he said, get it. <gasps> so I was like, okay. <laughs> and he goes, as I'm walking out the door, he goes, is it charged? I said, yeah, get it. <laughs> so I go and get it. And my dad has an absolute blast with it. Five minutes later, he's on the internet. I am buying one of these. <laughs> so he buys one. He literally he just up and bought one. And uh, he didn't tell he didn't tell my stepmom yet. So she's gonna find out, and if she watches this video, she's gonna find out. But I didn't tell her directly. I was telling everyone. I, I escaped the escaped the gold on this one, Dad. <laughs> but it, it was hilarious because my, my dad was flying or flying around with it and uh, uh, had an absolute blast, absolute blast. So we're gonna do some fun stuff with it uh, together. And uh, um, he he wants to see how high it can go. <laughs> so we might we might take it out on a, a dusky night uh, when the sun's down and we don't have a lot of infrared interference and see just how high this can go. <laughs> That'll be fun. Anyway, not the same type of video today, but. Don't believe everything that you say and that you read on the internet, all right? Um, until tomorrow, bye YouTube.